Yo there guys, what is up? Luke Games here, and today we are doing Terraria Android Edition Part 28, or 29 I think. Today, uh, we have a few things to do. I, I want to get go, go get some Cursed Flames, so I can go up against the, the Destroyer again. Well, no, not the Destroyer, Skeletron Prime, sorry. Because Skeletron Prime is going to be a hard boss to beat, I think. But I know, I mean, last time we did come up against him, we are actually owning him with the Cursed Bullets. Uh, the Cursed Bullets did a lot of damage, and I think they are going to be very, very useful... Uh, against him. So what we need to do is we need to go get a load of cursed flames. I believe one cursed flame equals to 50 cursed bullets as long as you have uh, 50 musket balls or whatever they are. I don't know exactly know what they are, but yeah, I believe they are. We also have some padded thigh. It just increases your stats by a bit. They don't really do a lot, but it's going to be very, very useful for sure. But we do need to go get some cursed flames, like I said. So I'm going to head straight over to the corruption underground. And I think that's where you get cursed flames, right? I believe it's the corruption underground. I don't know if this is all corruption under here, but I've never actually been down here. So yeah, I, I don't know. But what we're going to do is we're actually just going to mine straight down. Once we mine straight down, we will check it out. And uh, see if this is right. So sorry about no Terraria Android videos. Basically last week I was really ill. Um, basically it was my back though. It was my back that was really bad. And then I've actually fallen ill as well. So along with back pain I have an illness. And um, also I've just been not been feeling all too good to be honest. And I've been trying to record here and there. But it's not really been Android Edition because it takes a lot more effort. Uh, to try and record Android Edition. Firstly, I have to record it with uh, the audio with a jack that goes to my computer. And then also I have to record the screen uh, and then my audio as well. And then if anything goes wrong, I have to record again. And it's a lot of uh, trouble and effort to go through sometimes. And it's really hard to record. So uh, that's why I decided to do that. Hang on a minute. Just before I started this episode, I trashed everything. And it's all come back. I, I don't get it. it. It legit just all come back. I don't know what's happened, but I did trash all this that I didn't need. Basically, what I did was I loaded up a new world. You know, the expanded worlds. They are huge. No word of a lie. They are bigger than uh, the console edition map. Well, they're probably not, but when I looked at that, I'll probably show you it near the end of this episode, my other map that I've got. Uh, it is massive. Honestly, I went exploring in that map, and it's huge. Honestly, it's just mental, guys. If you have not got an expanded map yet, I really advise going to expanded map. There's so much more to do on it. There just is. That's one. And I think that's everything that I trashed. Because I kept that just in case I need it. Just in case I'm farming and stuff. You know, they all, they all come in handy. It's nice to have another life fruit as well. The reason that is, is because I've almost got full life fruits. Which is weird. Uh, it should have gone up there. That should go there. Now let's use the life fruit. Put that back up there. Come on. It, just as it was playing up, it starts playing up again. There we go. Nope. Okay, so I don't know if anyone else has this problem where they can't, like, pick something up. I don't know if anyone else has that problem, but look. It's not letting me pick their Mithril pickaxe up right now. There we go, got it. So it's like you have to, like, press it at a certain angle or something. I'm, I'm not too sure what it is, but yeah. Anyway, oh, we've got a Queen Bee here as well. Let's fight the Queen Bee to see how fast we can kill it now. Because obviously Queen Bees was actually a problem for us in pre-hard mode. But in hard mode, it's pretty simple to kill a Queen Bee. I mean, you get enough defense to live. Uh, you get honey as well to heal you, which which helps out a little bit. But, you know, it's all good, though. It's all good. Come on. We got this Queen Bee. We literally almost killed it. Well, no, no. It took a quarter of his life off. But as soon as it gets to us, we'll probably be almost killed it. Yep, our minion is doing so much damage to it. I mean, we've got the we've got a chance to get the saddle off it. So the, the um bee saddle would be really nice. I'm not too sure what it's called. I'm not sure if it's called like a queen bee saddle or something else. I'm not 100 percent But yeah, we've almost killed this queen bee anyway. But it's all good. And there we go, we've killed the queen bee. And what did we get as a drop? What? Guys? I could have sworn I've just trashed most of this and it's come back again. I don't know what's happening in my game. It was glitching or whatever, but I swear things are coming back into my inventory that I've not that I've not uh, put in my inventory. They, they, they just mysteriously keep coming back, which is really weird. Don't know what's happening, but I think all we got was the bee gun. No. Beeswax and bee nades. I think that's the only thing we've got. We didn't get anything else. No? Okay then, beeswax and bee nades it is. I mean, oh, we've got a bee gun there as well. The beacon's not too bad. I think it does 60. Oh, 10 damage. Okay, I thought it did 16. Maybe that's a, a modified version. Well, not modified, but you know what I mean. A, a reforged version of it. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. I'm not too sure on that. But we need to get down here so that we can um, try get some cursed flames as fast as we can. Because it might be nighttime soon. And uh, when it's nighttime, 
basically I want to try and fight the Skeletron Prime, which is going to be a very, very nice battle. Okay, glitching out there. But yeah, I don't know what keeps happening with my inventory. For some reason, with my inventory, uh, things keep coming back, which is really weird. All right, these Klingers should drop Cursed Flames, hopefully. Uh, didn't drop any Cursed Flames. Is that because... No, there we go. Cursed Flames. Okay. They should all drop Cursed Flames, hopefully. I think I've got a load of rubbish in my inventory again. I really need to sort out my inventory, don't I, guys? I need to sort this out majorly. Oh, I've got some honey as well. Bottled honey, which isn't really going to be any good. Cobalt ores will trash for now. And anything else I can trash that I don't think there is. But, yeah, Cursed Flames by two. And we've got some Cursed Flames up there as well. I don't know if they glitched in there or something. Because I didn't see them before. Oh, more Klingers. We get more Cursed Flames there. And I believe it is one Cursed Flame. All right, we've got a load of Cursed Flames now. How many do we have? Ten. Well, that'll make us enough bullets. Okay, we've got ten Cursed Flames. That's well enough. That was an easier task than I thought it was going to be. Because I know sometimes they drop, like, less Cursed Flames. But let's check the time. I think it's almost night time. 5.04. So let's buy some bullets just before we uh, fight this. So we can fight it and have a good chance against it. I reckon we've got a very, very good chance against it. I mean, the twins I think we looked out on. The uh, Destroyer we looked out on as well. But the Skeletron, I think, is going to be one of those that is going to be quite easy to kill. It's going to be quite easy to kill. I reckon we've got a good chance against it. So uh, let's buy a load of bullets. Oh, it's musket balls. Okay, musket balls. Let's just buy a ton of these. But we have, I think, 50... Yeah, 50, your money, 50 gold. Why didn't I just read it off there? But we have 50 gold, which is going to be very useful. These are only 7 copper each. So I think for 10, if it makes 50 each time, I'm going to need 500 of these musket balls to make 5... I hope it is just one cursed flame now. Because I don't think it's going to be one Cursed Flame. But I'm going to buy 500 bus Musket Balls anyway. And even if I don't have the Cursed Bullets, I reckon these normal Musket Ball Bullets will do enough damage as well. I mean, the, the Mega Shark is a very good weapon. And I made the Mega Shark as soon as I destroyed the Destroyer. So, yeah, any, anyone who kills the Destroyer, I would really advise making the Mega Shark. It is worth it. Definitely is. It shoots so fast. It might not do the most damage, but it shoots so fast and has a massive chance not to consume ammo. And I think that's like the key point of it, really. Uh, that's like the key point of it. it. It pretty much don't consume ammo. So it's really good. And we've almost got 500 now. Boom. Okay, just 10 more to go. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. 500 musket balls. Let's hope uh, it is just one curse flame. It might be two. It might be three. I'm not 100%. Like I say, I'm not, I'm not too up to the curse flames because I don't really use the curse flames. I don't know where you need to be either. Okay, so let's see what it is to make them. Can I make curse flame? Yeah. One curse flame. Oh, I got it right. I did get it right then. Oh, wait, what? 150 musket balls, you don't have the ingredients. What do I have the ingredients for? I don't get it. Do you need something else? Oh, we can make the Hornet Staff as well. Oh, my God. I don't I don't understand. Why can't I make more Cursed Flames? Do I need something else for it? Or, or what? I don't know what's going on there. But I believe... Hang on. This has nicked me of my musket, musket balls. I just bought 500. You clearly just saw that I bought 500, right, guys? So why is he saying that I didn't buy 500? What? Okay. 350 short, but let's just go ahead and buy them again. I don't know what's just happened, but when I bought the musket balls... See, this is what I mean. On Android Edition, there's so many different little bugs that keep happening to me. And it, it, it disheartens me to play the game. Well, I don't think that's the right word. But it, it puts me off playing the game more and more uh, due to these bugs in the game. Where it just doesn't work properly. I don't know if anyone else has that. But I think it was 350 I need to buy. Because I know I had 150. But I don't know where the others went. I really don't get it. So I, I'm glad that this is like fast. And it just buys them super fast. Because this part would be a pain to buy them. If I had to do it so slow. Alright we've just got 50 more to go now. Come on. 10. 20. 30. 40. 50. Alright one five more bullets. 3. 4. 5. There we go. Boom. So hopefully it doesn't do that again where it like don't summon enough as what I did. Well, not summon enough, but don't give me enough as what I bought. I don't know why I just bought 500 and it didn't even give me 500. All right, Cursed Flames. Good. 635 in our inventory. And I worked out good. All the maths is good. So I got good maths today, guys. Now let's see. Oh, I got Jack the Guide. Hopefully my NPCs don't die as well. So let's go up here. We need to use our padded die, which will give us a few bonuses. Uh, just minor stats to everything, which is always good to have. Uh, we need to also use our iron skin... Oh, I don't have one. <laughs> okay, so we don't need to use our iron skin potions because we don't have one. But, eh, we don't need one. We, we're going to YOLO this. And I think I need some of my imp staff again because I think that's despawned itself. I don't know why it's despawned itself, but that's the sort of stuff I go through on this game. 
Don't know why, it just, just despawns itself. The weirdest of times. So let's um get my Mega Shark back up here now. Oh, yeah, this is actually reforged. How much is it to reforge a Mega Shark quickly? Just before I fight this, because it might be very, very useful to reforge it. Honestly, it might do. It might be very useful. Have you, have you even got the Goblin Tinker anywhere? Let's look at my map. Okay, then that's a bit uh, bit off-putting. I don't know where anyone is. My Goblin Tinker used to be there, so I don't know where he's disappeared to. Has he gone to the bottom, maybe? Is he hiding down here? I don't know. He might, might be hiding down here. I'm not too sure. Oh, is that an orange blood root? You don't see them very often, do you? Sorry, but uh, sorry, guys. I'm getting put off by all this stuff that I'm finding now. There we go. We're not going to need that for a minute. Let's get this orange blood root. Lovely. And we got an orange blood root. So, yeah, the I don't think we've even got the Goblin Tinker anymore. I don't know if it's because he don't have a house or, or what. Or... I'm not too sure, but we're going to fight Skeletron because it is the time to fight him. And I think we're going to have a very, very good battle ahead of us right now. So let me just go check if the Goblin Tinker is over here because he might be in these houses at the end. Yeah, there he is. What's, what's he doing over here? He went over here before. See what I mean? This edition is just so weird for me, guys. It just is. I don't know if you've followed me along the whole series, but you'll know there's various things that's happened in the game. that has just been so weird. It's six to sell it, but how much is it to reforge it? 10 gold, 3 forges. Let's do it. 3, 2, 1. Boom. <gasps> Unreal. Oh, my God. Are you actually kidding me? We've got the Unreal Mega Shark on the first reforge. Wow. We now have an Unreal Mega Shark. Look at the damage on that thing. We even have a 50% chance not to consume ammo. This is going to be deadly, guys. This is going to be very, very deadly. Let's do this. Let's go. Come on. you got nothing on me, Prime. Come on, Prime. Unreal Mega Shark. In the building against Skeletron Prime. Just got to make sure we don't fall into those. Because when he does that, his attack goes up by a lot. And I mean a lot. Whoa. His, his saw is taking a lot of damage off me. It's got to be really careful that his saw don't uh, do more damage off me. That's why it's good to take out his arms first. Because then his arms won't attack you. And you've just got to really concentrate on killing him. Need to take out the laser as soon as possible, if possible. Okay, uh, we're using a lot of ammo here, but we are taking a lot of life off him, so it's all good. I think we just got his, his uh, Prime left now, so we've actually taken out his arms. we just got uh, Skeleton Prime normal left. Oh, he's doing his spin attack. Spinny, spinny. Woo, Mr. Spinny. How you doing, Mr. Spinny? You good? Once you've taken out his arms, you just got to really concentrate on um, not letting his spin attack get you. And once you've done that, you're sound. You're fine. I mean, your attacks don't do as much damage now. But they, they still, still deadly if you can get him like this. We've took half his life off. This has probably been the easiest hard mode boss I've come against until he does his spin attack and, or like almost kills me. But no, uh, this has been probably one of the easiest um, hard mode bosses I've come against. Maybe 600 bullets wasn't enough. I was thinking that it would be because, you know, 600 bullets, that's a lot. And I'm just got to make sure we time his spin attack right. Is he doing his spin attack yet? Okay, he's going to do it any second now. More than half his life is gone. And we have got a ton of time to kill him. Come on. We're doing beautiful. We are actually doing beautiful in this. And my minion is sort of guiding me on where to shoot. Which is what I really like about the minion. Once you took his arms out, he's chill. Real chill. Alright, where is he? Let's just chill out. Let's just chill, guys. This is not even getting near me. I reckon he could... Really take a lot of my life off, though, if he, if he even got near me. So, what I'm trying to do is just stay away from him. Come on. I mean, you need to... See what I mean? He just took off a lot of life from me there. There we go. We've got to get him when he's out of his spin attack. Because we're running out of ammo. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... No, I'm not. That's got normal ammo. Oh, that's dirty. When he uses spin attack, I'm actually going to swap to my um, bow, though. Because I want to get the most out of these bullets. Since I've uh, used them. Okay, since I've bought them, sorry. Since I've bought them, I want to get the most out of the bullets. So that's the reason I'm using the bow and arrow at the minute. You know, we need to keep a few bullets. We can't go full on savage mode. Nah, I'm just going to go full on savage mode. All gone. We could take him out of the bow anyway. We, we, we've killed him. We, we, we can't fail this now. Unless it turns daytime, which it's not very... I don't think that's very possible to do right now. Because it's pretty much still night time, so it should be okay. I'm hoping, anyway. Yeah, he's dead. Three, two, one, and you're dead. Woo! That's all bosses. Jungle grows let restless, which means we can now 
kill the one and only Plantera. And I reckon Plantera is going to be a very, very hard boss. He's going to be, he's going to challenge us. He really is. The, the Plantera has always been a challenge for me personally. Uh, it's, it's been one of my good challenges though. And uh, what I'm really happy about though is now the jungle is growing restless as well. Uh, we have a chance to try and get to, well, once we've killed Plantera, we've got a good chance to get the Golem. And then once we've got a Golem, what do you do after that? I mean, I don't know. But we've come so far in this edition. Once I've finished this edition, uh, once I've killed all the bosses and, you know, made it through, maybe get a few items, maybe get up to, like, episode 35 or something, I'm going to move to my DS edition. Then I'm going to finish my DS edition. And then I do want to get one weapon on the DS edition, which is called the Zappinator. You guys might know it. Uh, it did actually get added into the DS edition, which is really weird. But... That's one weapon that I really, really want right now, guys. So what I need to do is I need to go get all my hard mode souls, sorry. I need to get all my hard mode souls. And if you hear any glitchy noises, by the way, it's because of my audio thing. It's just really weird sometimes. But let's get all my souls. Once we've got all my hard mode souls, we'll now be able to make the, um... Hmm. Wait a minute. Wait, please say I've got this. Oh, three souls on me. We're gonna be, we'll be able to make the Drax. Uh, it's going to be a very good, uh, wep not weapon, it's going to be a very good drill. The Drax, uh, a lot of people say, why don't you make the Hamax, Luke? Nah, I like the Drax. The Drax is just an OG weapon, well, not a weapon, but a uh, pickaxe, isn't it? The, the Drax is just, I don't know, beautiful. I've always loved the Drax over the, over the Pixar any day. Not the Pixar, the pickaxe axe, sorry. There we go, look at that, Drax. Oh my god, 18 hollow bars. Ah, <sighs> the Drax, beautiful. We can make the pickaxe axe or the drax. Both are great, but I'm going to make the drax. Oh, my inventory is full. Okay, I can't make it because my inventory is full. Let's get rid of these hives because we're not going to use the hives. Really, we're not. So what I'm going to do is summon in... Oh, not summon in. <laughs> I'm going to make my drax, which is going to be beautiful. Boom. Which That works as a um, hammer and an axe, doesn't it? Pretty sure it does anyway. Just take a look. Um, let's just try and drill some trees with it. No, get out of the house. Oh, wrong thing. Oh, oh, no, no, I'm only on my floor. Mm, okay, then. Yep, it does anyway. It, it works exactly how I intended it to. So I'm going to trash those, going to trash those. Then I can replace my floor again because I've sort of just RIP'd my floor. Beautiful. Come on, wolf die. Werewolf dead. And let's replace the floor with wood. I can do that. Fill it in with wood. There we go. Nice bit of DIY work there. <laughs> DIY work, beautiful. Ah, well, I'm very happy, guys. This episode has been great. Really has. The Drax has always been a thing that I've loved to get and just love all together. It just is something that you can be really proud of. It means you've defeated all the bosses. It's like a, a token. It's like a, um, I don't know. It's, it's like a, an achievement in a sense, isn't it? Of, of making it to the hard, oh, making it to hard, but beautiful. It is like a sense of an achievement, a sense of um, victory, a sense of knowing you've strong enough to beat the bosses. All done with these useless fairy wings as well. <laughs> they're not good at all. They're not good. Someone commented, are they any good, Luke? No, they're pretty much one of the first wings you can get. And overall, I wouldn't really use these wings if it was anything else. But, ah, lovely. We've got 20, um, I think that's hollow bars as well. Lovely. And we can make, we have the hollowed plate mail at the minute. But, uh, I don't know whether to make... You know what? I'm going to get rid of these bean aids because I'm not going to use them anytime soon. And I'm going to make the hollowed... Increases range. Increases melee. Uh, increases mana. You know what? Let's get the hollowed... Well, since we've got the mega shark, the hollowed helmet would probably be a more thingy... A uh, more thing, good thing to make. But the hollowed mask... Yeah, we're going to make the hollowed mask. Now, we only need one more piece to do something with that. So, we need one more piece of um, armor to actually make it into a full set of armor, which would be beautiful. There we go. And a full set of hollowed armor will be very strong. I don't know if it, how good it's going to be compared to the adamantite, but I'm hoping it's going to be really good. I think we just killed a pinky as well. Lovely. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be very good. And I reckon next episode we should uh, explore the jungle a bit. Oh, we killed our 50th werewolf as well. But anyway, that's... um. That's beautiful. Like I said, I'm going to uh, sort out my inventory next episode. But for now, let's exit to the main menu. And I'm going to show you my second world. So, it's called Crimson. Oh, no, it's called Pop, isn't it? Yeah. So, this world is an expanded world. And it is massive. Not even joking now, guys. This world is huge. Just look. 
Compared to my other world, look how big this is. It takes a while to load in the map. I've only explored to the left. And look how long this thing goes. It goes forever and ever and ever and ever. And boom. I think that is like PC size. So oh, and that's something I really wanted to show you. Basically, what happened was I, I spawned in this map. And I wasn't, I wasn't expecting the map to be this big. So I was gobsmacked anyway. But then I reached my jungle, uh, my ocean biome. And just look. Look what happened in the ocean biome. Honestly, if this had happened before, I would just be like, what? What just happened? Like, honestly, it's the weirdest thing ever. And um, I think, I don't know if I've actually explored the chest. I think I wanted to save that for a video. So I haven't actually looked in the chests over here. But, oh, what happened was great. We need to go above that. Because I don't want to mine anything. But we, don't, we do have the Drax now. So we can actually uh, mine pretty fast. 43 melee damage as well. I mean, you get the Drax out of shadow chests. So if you are lucky enough to get it in pre-hard mode out of shadow chests, you are lucky. There is a chance to get it. It's like 0.01% chance. But it's a very rare chance. But you can get it. I don't know if it's a bug or what. but Or if the developers intended. So what I found weird about this world is it's got this. And then it's got the uh, temple. Let's go explore that temple quickly. See if there's anything down here. Oh, what am I using that for? I can just use the Drax. <laughs> The only thing that's annoying about the Drax is the noise of the actual Drax. It's like... Rawr, 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 rawr. Should we go see if we can get ourselves a um, thingy? Oh, no, I forgot. You can't thingy with that. Okay, I keep saying thingy. Why do I keep saying thingy? All right, we've got the Pharaoh's outfit. We'll take that. So we'll deposit that and we'll deposit the... Yeah, you know what? Let's deposit that and that. We can come back for that any day we need to. We've got the Pharaoh's outfit now. I'm actually more equipped the Pharaoh. Oh, we've got loads of gold on the floor as well. I've just noticed that. So let's uh, equip the Pharaoh's outfit. Boom and boom. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. And yeah, there's loads of gold around here. So let's get all that. Gold coins and silver coins. Can't say no to those. Beautiful. Just uh, pick it all up. And is there any other chest? Normally in these temples, I only find one chest. Yeah, I thought so. Normally in these temples, uh, sand temples or pyramids, whatever you want to call them. I only found one chest. And I don't know if that's just like how many you're supposed to find. But I don't think I've ever found more than one chest in one of those, which is pretty crazy, actually, because... No. But anyway, like I was saying, there's a sand biome there, and then it goes into more sand biome, which is really weird. And uh, from there, I think it goes back into normal biome or jungle, I'm not too sure, but it goes... There's a massive drop. Yeah, it goes into jungle biome, and it has, like, the sand in it, which is weird. Uh, I found this map a really bizarre spawn. don't know if anyone else has ever, ever experienced this, but I found this a really, really bizarre spawn. If we keep going over, we're almost at the end now, guys. So don't uh, don't worry. You will you will be absolutely amazed. But well, maybe not. Maybe you've had something like this before. But I was certainly amazed. I don't think I've saw it on many channels before. Okay, we've got a uh, underwater chest here, which is a blowpipe. But we'll take the money. We'll take the money. I'm not going to say no to money. Who says no to money nowadays? So anyway, we've got this huge jungle biome. They're moving up. Okay, then. We've, we've just uh, stumped ourselves. I just can't bother to mine many things. It's just an effort to mine them. So I'd rather just go over them. <laughs> I would rather just go over them, to be fair. It's just uh, it's just fair, isn't it? But anyway, over at Jungle Biome. How long we got left to go? All right, not long left. Oh, we're almost there. But the thing what surprised me the most was the uh, fall. The fall is absolutely huge to my, um, to my ocean. It just is. It's just massive. There's so a load of copper ores that will turn into some nice ores in hard mode. Wilbur would like to sell down. I don't really care about Wilbur. Go home, Wilbur. Nah, I'm joking. But anyway, massive drop, like I say. Goes into this sand biome. And then from there, look how crazy this is, guys. It goes right into this. And then I was walking down here. Oh, pink jellyfish. And then I saw this with a heart as well. Imagine you getting this in pre-hard mode. So it's got the heart. You go down here and oh my god, look at this. Don't know if this has ever happened in another world, but you got a flare gun there, best gun in the game with it as well. So you get the flare gun, best gun in the game. You get an abandoned open chest, and there's there's tons and tons. So we've got an uh, band of regeneration there. There's a picture which I might take actually. Tell you what, let's trash our ropes. We can get ropes and actually the acorn. What have we got an acorn for? It's got this acorn. I, I want to take the picture. That's all. There we go, we've got the father of someone. And then down here, you've also got some more chests, which, uh, let's check what's in them. Like I say, if you got this pre-hard mode, you'd be laughing. You've got a pitchfork there, a trident, sorry. Okay, it's not letting me take the silver coins for some reason, I don't know why. But anyway, um, and then there's also another chest which holds 
another piercing trident. Yeah, I just found that absolutely insane, guys. I don't know. Like, say if anyone's ever experienced anything like that, leave it below in the comments. And I'm going to die if I don't get out of this place fast. So I'm just going to um, head up to spawn, uh, not spawn, head up to here. Maybe I should have used my, <laughs> yep, I should definitely have used my magic mirror. R.I.P. me. Gonna die, gonna die by suffocation. Okay, there we go. So thanks for joining me in today's episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Please leave a like and subscribe. Stay frosty and peace. Jeez, I didn't think this was so good. The only thing we're gonna watch out for is, is um War of the Prime Swords almost taken out. Are you kidding me? Wow! So this is actually quite strong against him then. The Prime Voice is almost taken out too. It's quite cool. Yeah, Skeletron Prime is being destroyed. He only has his head left, I think. He's got to look where he is. Um, it's good to get him when he's doing that attack. Even though he has more uh, defense, it's still good to get him. It's just an easy way to get him, isn't it? So I'm just hoping he don't turn, don't turn noise. Uh,